Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So let's start off with Cardi B and Lil Nas X, because I am hearing that Lil Nas X um, is going to reach out to Cardi B, and he wants to do another record with Cardi B. And I'm hearing that he thinks that if him and Cardi do another collaboration, because they already collaborated on a song called Rodeo, Okay, now I don't remember how that song sounded, but basically Lil Nas X wants to do another collaboration with Cardi B so he can go number one on Billboard. Okay, now he's trying to get another Industry Baby because Industry Baby featuring Jack Carlo went number one. And originally he has sent that record to Nicki Minaj and Nicki Minaj declined. But he's always had a good relationship with Cardi B, okay? So, you know, I'm not really shocked that he wants to do another collaboration. Let me know how you guys think that's going to sound. Um, where is the record with Saucy Santana and um, NBA Youngboy? He needs to put those out first. Unless he wants to add Cardi B to the Saucy Santana record. Now, that would definitely get a buzz. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Uh, moving on to the queen, Nicki Minaj. Nicki won an award for Tulsa uh, with Carol G. She won a BMI award, which is also for songwriting. And Tulsa is the most awarded um, song by a female rapper. It has 25 awards. So congratulations to Nicki Minaj and Carol G. Um, Nicki has more Latin records coming allegedly. And so does Cardi B. So that's going to be interesting. Um, I just wish that Nicki and Carol G would have performed that record. But I think when that record came out, Nicki was pregnant. Because that record came out, what, in 2019, like in November, December. And then, you know, she was pregnant by February. So that's probably why, you know, she wasn't able to perform that record. But that was a hit song, okay? You know, that was a global hit record. Um, so congratulations to the queen again. Moving on from that, Megan Thee Stallion and Jasmine Sullivan were hanging out together the other day with JT. And from what I'm hearing, Megan Thee Stallion and Jasmine Sullivan will be collaborating. So Megan Thee Stallion is about to go R&B. So let me know how you think that's going to sound. I like Jasmine Sullivan. She has collaborated with rappers before. I believe she collaborated with Meek Mill in the past. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what her... And Megan could come up with and what the visuals are going to be like for that. Um, I do feel like um, Jasmine Sullivan doesn't really get enough credit, though. The fact that she got no Billboard nominations and she basically had a very good 2021. It was her and Summer Walker who had the most successful year as a R&B artist. Jasmine often gets overlooked and I think it has a lot to do with her looks you know she is brown skin dark skin you know so she really has to go extra hard to make it to the top I feel like um is this collaboration gonna benefit Jasmine Sullivan no it might get her more radio play because Megan gets a lot of radio play but Jasmine does not need a Megan Thee Stallion collaboration but I do think it would be a good look especially if she wants more radio play Moving on to Doja Cat. Doja Cat has surpassed Lizzo, okay? Um, basically, Doja Cat's Need to Know is now the longest charting solo female rap song on Billboard, surpassing Lizzo's Truth Hurts. Now, this is ironic because in 2019, Doja Cat used to allegedly open up for Lizzo. Okay, so now basically she's surpassing current stats. If I were Lizzo, instead of doing that collaboration with Cardi B and trying to get a collaboration with Megan Thee Stallion, she should try to collaborate with Doja Cat. And I think that Doja Cat 
would definitely do it because at the end of the day, you know, Lizzo brought her on tour. So basically she would be paying it forward, even though now Doja Cat does not need um, Lizzo. Honestly, I feel like Lizzo low key fell off. Let me know in the comments, do you believe that Lizzo fell off? I mean, she has released um, rumors and that really didn't do what a lot of people thought it would do. I wouldn't call it a flop, but it wasn't a hit record either, okay? And honestly, in my opinion, I feel like rumors was kind of trash, okay? Um, Cardi B's verse wasn't that great. Um, the record to me had little to no substance. Like it doesn't have longevity. Clearly nobody's really talking about it. So I feel like Lizzo, you might need to call up Doja Cat to get a hit record. Um, but then again, Doja Cat hasn't really helped, you know, the other people that she's collaborated with. You know, she collaborated with Lil Nas X, that flopped. Um, she collaborated with Tyga. Nobody's really talking about that record. I believe it's still on Billboard, though. Um, and I think she also did a record with French Montana, and that record definitely flopped. So maybe, you know, Doja Cat is not the person that you can really rely on to give you a hit record, okay? But as long as Lizzo don't ask Nicki Minaj, I'll be fine. Okay, stay over there. Moving on to Harry Styles. Now, I usually don't really talk about Harry Styles a lot, but I want to let y'all know that I love Harry Styles. I know that some people don't like him because, you know, he wears dresses and he paints his nails. Um, but Harry Styles has to do his symbolisms and rituals like everybody else. Why do you think these rappers um, paint their nails? Okay, why do you think NBA Youngboy was wearing makeup? Okay, it's because they have to. Um, but that does not take away from his talent. These celebrities like Lil Nas X, Young Thug, Gunna, um, Harry Styles, Tyler, the creator, they have to do that because Hollywood pushes, you know, the agenda. And that is to appeal to the gay community is part of the agenda. That's why they want to make superheroes, you know, um, bisexual now or gay, um, is to appease and push that agenda, which is not wrong, depending on how you view it. Okay. I don't have an issue with it because at the end of the day, I like who I like. So I don't really care that Harry Styles wears dresses, you know, um, as long as the music is good. That's all I really care about because at the end of the day, I prefer Harry Styles over Justin Bieber, okay? And as it was, is a great record. It deserves to be number one. My favorite songs by Harry Styles is Watermelon Sugar. That's a bop. And another record I like is Lights Up, okay, which came out in 2019. So Harry Styles is who I listen to often, a lot. I don't really talk about him too much, but I listen to that man often. Don't really care that he wears dresses, not really into him like that, but he's talented, more talented than a lot of these people out. So anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.